welcome everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Puppet Warp tool in PhotoP. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is go to Canvas and you're going to do a right click and either copy this image or save it and open it into PhotoP. Once you have this image opened, we're going to be putting the words Mariposa on the top and we'll put Grizzly to fit in the lower lip. So the first thing that you'll want to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to grab the text tool. And I encourage you all to use the uppercase letters. Uh, they're going to be easier to fit into the form that you have. And so what I'll do is I'll just type Mariposa, and then I'm going to slide it over into this top area here. And you might need to go edit, transform, and scale, and pull it out so that it reaches the very edges. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Then you hit Enter. Next critical thing when you're doing Puppet Warp is you're going to want to rasterize the layers. So over here on the right in the Layers palette, I'm going to do a right click. Or if you're in a Chromebook, just do a two-finger tap. And I go down to Rasterize. Now remember, Rasterize is going to take the text that is in vector form. Okay, So it's all mathematical. It's all based on coordinates. It's going to transform that into a pixel-based graphic. Okay, So now that this has been rasterized, I'm going to go up under Edit. I'm going to go to Puppet Warp. Okay, now Puppet Warp, as you can see, it kind of distorts it already to begin with. But what you'll want to do, first of all, is go up to the top. You're going to change the mode. By default, it's going to say normal. You'll want to change that to distort. And when it says, where it says density, you can play around with this. But for most fonts, uh, large is going to give you the most control. And you don't have to worry too much about expand. And I would definitely show the mesh. Okay, so make sure that box is checked. The next thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to start in the middle. So I've got the eye here and you're going to be creating two nodes. Okay, so just like we did with the pen tool, which we learned earlier, you're going to just click down. It's going to create this little blue node, and that I will then be able to pull okay, this down to the bottom. And then I'll make another node up here. It's a little bit tricky, okay, and I can then stretch or pull that. And for each of these letters, I'm going to work, pull it down, and then create a node and pull it up. And if you need to further alter it just so it fits a little bit better, you can do that. I'm going to take this O and uh, slide that over here. Now with the O, what you'll want to be careful of is to balance these out. So I'm going to create a node over this way, and then I'm going to go across, and I can then you know, transform it the way I need it. And also I can you know, put a node there and there, and I can get it to further transform. Um, but by the dots, by the mod, <laughs> the nodes being equidistant apart, uh, you're going to be able to most effectively get it into the shape that you need. I'm going to take this S, I'm going to move the S down here, create a different node that's going to yeah, put it something like that. And then maybe I just kind of scooch it, scoot it up there like that. I'll take the A, I'll pull that here. Pull that leg out to the corner of the mouth, something like this. And then I come over to the R. Put that there, second node. And the thing about these nodes is, is that the fewer you use, oftentimes the more control you have. Um, you know, as I was playing around with this, I had like, you know, one letter, I had, you know, 10 plus different nodes on it. And the nodes, they work together. so. You know, they're trying to sort of counterbalance each other as you're working them. And uh, the more nodes you have, basically, the bigger the headache you can get. So I'm going to move that one down here, and we're almost done. And then I'm going to grab and make that node, and I'll swing this leg. Maybe something like that. Okay, <laughs> so this is not the most legible thing, okay, but it works. And then what I'll do is I'm going to take the mesh off. Next up, what I'm going to... Add is it's going to say grizzlies down here on the lower lip. And again, let me just repeat the first step after you get done typing the text out is you're going to rasterize it and then you're going to go edit and puppet warp. Hey, thanks for joining me in this video. I'll catch you next time.